Dolajet here at Bahama Bob's in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode, join us for a beach seafood feast at Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe in Gulf Shores, Alabama for our restaurant review videos of beach food. Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe is located in Gulf Shores at 601 West Beach Boulevard. If you like to explore good places to eat in Gulf Shores, Alabama and the Gulf of Mexico, this is a good restaurant. Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe is a fun environment with a tropical theme, tropical drinks, and huge portions of good seafood. When doing your Gulf Shores vacation planning, make sure to look at Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe as one of your dining on Gulf Shores options. Bahama Bob's is located right next to the beach here. Unfortunately, it was a red flag day the last time I visited, so I couldn't get in the water. But you're a short distance here to Bahama Bob's. Now they did build these new condos that kind of get in the way of the previous beach view, unfortunately. But this is still a great spot to enjoy some beach life. If you're looking for where the locals eat in Gulf Shores, many locals we asked say Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe is one of the best places to eat in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Your trip to the beach could certainly use a beach feast at Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe in Gulf Shores during your visit. So as we first walk up, you see they do have a lot of signs here. Welcome to Bahama Bob's Beachside Cafe. Lower the latitude, better the attitude. Our goal is to provide the best and freshest food with friendly local service. We want to thank you for selecting our restaurant to dine in today. Your dining experience is very important to us. We do our best to exceed all of your expectations. We do apologize. I think that means we do apologize if you have to wait for a seat or are unable to get through on the phone. We are a very small restaurant with limited seating at times. It hard. It is hard to get on the phone or we are already on the phone with another customer. Please be patient. Be patient with us. We move very quickly and hustle to get everyone in and out as fast as possible. If you do have to wait for a table, please keep that in mind when you have finished eating. And remember, there are probably people waiting for your seat when you're done. During these troubled times, we're doing your best. Maybe that should be our best to continue to maintain the same service and quality food you have come to expect from us. We've been inspected several times by local public officials and health department, and we meet all safe distancing guidelines and sanitation rules and procedures. All of our staff has been informed of proper cleaning processes and safe contact along with correct mask etiquette. We even have had our building professionally sanitized by ServPro Cleaning Company. But if any time as a customer you feel unsafe or concerned for yourself in public, then we understand if you need to not dine with us. We are sorry and ask for you to return to see us after this pandemic is over with. As a valued customer, you are important to us. Thank you again for dining with us and be sure to get your Bahama Bob's t-shirt on the way out. Come back and see us soon, management. So just a few little uh, typos in there to be corrected. So I look forward to the time when that sign goes away and we can just focus on this more fun sign with all the fun stuff in here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So as you see, there's uh, no current mask mandate in the Gulf Shores area. And it's very rare to see anybody wearing a mask anywhere around the entire region here. Which is in stark contrast to New Orleans where there's still a mask mandate and also the requirement to show either a vaccine or negative blood test paperwork to get in many places. So our hostess here is going to take us to our table. We got pretty much immediate seating, which is unusual here. As typically there's a huge wait to get in here. So we lucked out, got here at a great time, and we're going to be able to get seated immediately, which I've never seen happen. Usually you've got to wait a little bit. And uh, the inside area is a great space, although usually I've always ended up sitting on the outside patio. But you can see they don't have a whole lot of space in here. This is really kind of a tiny little restaurant. Of course, they have a place mat with their name on it, like so many of the restaurants we visit. Here's the great patio area. The last time I visited here, you can still see the beach from here, but the condos have gotten in the way of that now, unfortunately. So let's take a look at the menu now, and it starts off with a story. While on a treasure hunt off Rumke, Bahama, a hurricane nearly sank Bob's 45-foot sailboat, the Kabu. The mainsail gone and losing power, he made it back to Georgetown, Bahama. To celebrate his near mess with death, Bob partied for three straight days. That's right, three days. When he awoke, blurry-eyed, and he did, Bob stumbled next door to the bar for a Bloody Mary. 
Feeling much better, Bob booked a ride on the Staniel K Express, the slowest boat in all the islands. Finally landing in Staniel K, Bob caught a ride on a seaplane to Bimini. There he met Captain Chuck Rohr and his all-girl crew. They became immediate friends. They set sail for Key West, making landfall three days later. Bob headed straight for Margaritaville. Several rum drinks later, he ran into Frank and Steve, old friends from Gulf Shores. They convinced him to come back with them to the other side of paradise on West Beach. They had an idea we could build a little slice of island living right here. So, welcome to Bahama Bob's, the real thing, the very best of everything you come to the beach for. And remember, the lower the latitude, the better the attitude. So we have appetizers with buffalo wings, shrimp cocktail, pirate's well alligator bites, the mini style steamed shrimp, crab cake, crab claws, hurricane hole fried mushrooms, Norman's K fried cheese sticks, Treasure Island seafood gumbo, Spanish well stuffed cheese jalapenos, spicy Cajun fried crawfish tails, Danielle K chicken tenders, the island sampler, golden fried popcorn shrimp, coconut fried shrimp appetizer, fried pickles, fried onion rings. Then we have house specialties, Paradise Island Fried Pecan Whitefish, Crab K Baked Whitefish, From the Grill, Nassau Grilled Whitefish, Fresh Catch of the Day, Governor's Harbor Grilled Tuna, Great Stirrup Grilled Shrimp, The Big Kahuna, a Large Choice Hand Cut USDA Steak, Grand Bahama Grilled Chicken, Grilled Scallop Bonanza, Grilled Shrimp and Scallop Combo. On the next page, we have Island Seafood. All fried seafood items are served with French fries and coleslaw, coconut fried shrimp, fried shrimp, fried oysters, fried whitefish, fried crawfish, fried seafood platter, fried captain's platter, fried scallop bonanza, fried popcorn shrimp dinner. From the steamer, served with steamed new potatoes and vegetable of the day, steamed royal reds, steamed crab legs, island combo, and then add-ons or fried or grilled shrimp, fried or grilled scallops, and a pound of royal reds. Then we have sandwiches, and all sandwiches are served with french fries. We have a fried seafood po' boy selection of crawfish, fish, shrimp, oyster, catch of the day, fresh shrimp salad po' boy, char grilled delights, catch of the day, tuna fish, crabby patty sandwich, crab and shrimp lightly dusted in panko breading and fried, grilled chicken sandwich, and hamburger, the island's best. Bahama Bob's Burger, a paradise lover's delight. A 10 ounce burger topped with grilled pineapple, bacon, and double Swiss cheese. And then we have salads of various types with chicken breast, popcorn, shrimp, fish, scallops, large shrimp, tuna, crawfish, catch of the day, fresh cold shrimp salad, and then a kid's menu, and then desserts with homemade key lime pie, vanilla cup, shakes and floats, chef surprise, Salted Caramel Cheesecake, New York Style Cheesecake, Chocolate or Caramel Topping, 79 cents extra. So I started off with a seafood gumbo and there is a lot of rice in here. They didn't have any hot sauce on the table so they gave me these little packages. I've actually never seen this in a restaurant before. So some uh, Louisiana hot sauce and uh, we'll just go ahead and add a little bit in here. So this is uh, still getting me my hot sauce. I'm just uh, doing it in a filled expedient method here. All right, let's mix it up and see what kind of seafood we have in here. So, seeing a little bit of chunks of seafood in here. It looks like so far I'm seeing mainly some shrimp. So let's see, there's a little okra in there. I don't believe I see any crab. I don't see really any other seafood in here. So it's not the most seafoody of seafood gumbos. The shrimps are a decent size though. So uh, this is definitely a respectfully sized shrimp, so let's give it a taste. Here we go, and uh, all right, so it's a uh, decent tasting. It's not a New Orleans gumbo. This is not a Louisiana style roux at all. So I'm not really getting a lot of uh, Louisiana style gumbo roux, and it's certainly not leaning towards what I would call a New Orleans Creole style gumbo, so it's not uh, exactly a Cajun style gumbo either. It's sort of more of uh, what I put in the category of a uh, Gulf Coast style gumbo, a uh, beach style gumbo. So it's uh, not bad. It's okay. Um, it's not the best gumbo I've had, certainly. Just that's my personal preference. So other people might love this style of gumbo. For me, I probably would be 
indifferent to it. I don't hate it. I don't really like it. I don't know if I really would order it again just because it's not, you know, I could get better gumbo in New Orleans. But, I mean, overall, for the Gulf Shores area, it's all right. So it's definitely about average with the rest of the ones I've had in the area. So for all the people outside of Louisiana and outside of the New Orleans area, you'll be perfectly satisfied with this probably. It's a perfectly acceptable dish. There's nothing bad about it. Other than there's too much rice in here, which is a common thing all over the place these days with gumbos. So that's the uh, only major negative I would say is it's just too much rice. Other than that, most people should be perfectly happy. And uh, a little hot sauce kicks it up, makes it even better, of course. So I would suggest you certainly try a little hot sauce in your gumbo if you like your life a little spicier. Some people are scared of the spice and don't like it. So if you don't want to spice your life up, that's your business too. Personally, I like to be a little spicy. So you do what you want and then we'll all enjoy it and talk about it later. All right, here's my last bite. Let's see how I go. All right, now I've totally destroyed this gumbo. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this gumbo. And while you're down there, would you kindly check out links to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. For entrees, my dining companion got a red snapper sandwich that looks really fantastic and I tasted it, it was really great. And I got a trigger fish entree with new potatoes and coleslaw. Now I was really upset to see they don't have real butter here. They have whipped spread, gross. Use real butter. Oh my gosh, like ridiculousness all over. Why do places have to use whip spread? Real butter's always better. This is a bring your butter place, I'm so sad. All right, look at this beautiful piece of fish though. Oh, this trigger fish is very nicely cooked. I definitely am enjoying the fish here. It's moist and juicy on the inside, perfectly cooked on the outside. So I'm happy with my fish, but I'm very upset about the lack of real butter for my potatoes here. So this is a really flaky, great tasting fish. I'm enjoying every bite. It's got really nice flavor to it. Got it blackened here, so uh, a little extra spice and kick to it if you like. So for those of you that like the spice, I would say get it blackened. If you're scared of that spice, then you might want to just get it grilled or fried. However, I find the uh, blackened one to be pretty darn good. So this was the catch of the day uh, for the entree special and it is a very nice fish. So trigger fish has been a pretty common fish I've eaten in this area for their specials and it's always been prepared very nicely. And the uh, red snapper was also very excellently prepared. So they've done a really good job of the fish here. So every bite has really good flavor. It's been cooked perfectly with each and every sample I've had and the sample that I had of the Red Snapper was also cooked perfectly. So at least I can be confident saying they're really good at cooking fish here. Now on the menu, you saw they had quite a few things with white fish. In my experience in the uh, Gulf Coast area, white fish generally means sly. Sly is an imported catfish. So don't get the white fish until you ask specifically what kind of fish it is. If they say sly, don't get it. All right, let's try this coleslaw. Basic, decent coleslaw, so it's nothing special. I prefer a vinegar coleslaw myself. This is more of a mayonnaise-based one. All right, so I was hoping this would be a good spicy potato. Let's see. Oh, no. It's definitely not a crab boil, or crawfish boil style potato. It's just a plain, basic potato with no spice. So for all you people that hate spice, this potato would make you happy. It's just a basic boiled potato with no spice. Here's my last bite of the fish. Oh, I'm sad to see that go. That was a very nice item. That was the best thing in the plate so far. Coleslaw, you know, it's nothing special. Just plain basic crunchiness it is nice though. I do enjoy the crunch. I just wish it had a little more vinegar flavor in there. Oh, the uh, coleslaw should make most folks happy. And most people seem to prefer the mayonnaise style over the vinegar style. I'm one of the outliers that like the vinegar kind. And it's a good little yeast roll here too. Give this a sample, see how this is. It feels nice and uh, poopy. Let's take a bite and okay. So yeah, just a nice uh, yeast roll. So nice little addition to keep you fed and keep you full. But with all these potatoes, I don't need much more bread. Just really sad though, I don't have any real butter and there's no spice to it. 
If you love spice, a crawfish boil, a crab boil, potato is a wonderful thing to have. So just like I destroyed my fish, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this beautiful piece of fish I had. And while you're down there, would you kindly check out the link to my Patreon account? Because, hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. So I didn't clean my plate, as I had to save room for the amazing key lime pie here. I've actually never tried it, but I heard it was great. So it looks fantastic and it smells fantastic so let's go ahead and give this thing a sample Ooh, it looks really pretty ah very happy and oh yes there is a good flavor to it so they do make a good key lime pie here i can confirm look at this Ooh, it's very nicely put together it's got some nice density of all of the pie components and there's a lot of flavor in here. So I do like that citrusy grape flavor that a key lime pie has. And this one has gone down very easily and very quick. It was just a few bites and I completely destroyed it. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about the key lime pie. So the total for this meal for two people was $65.75 before tip. That is a little more on the expensive side for the overall average of the area, although the fish was prepared very nicely. So thanks so much to everybody at Bahama Bob's for a good lunch and a good time. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me and I really would appreciate it. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.